So, I know I'm not the only one here who is an avid anime watcher. Well, if you watch anime, or lots of movies, why not also make it a habit to draw from them as well? The best way to practice composition is to draw lots of small thumbnails from film. You see, the camera guys who work on big name films are masters of composition and lighting, so it makes a great resource to build up from your visual library by seeing how they rearrange scenes. And if you do this often, you will get a good sense of how things are placed within a scene. So how this works is that I open up Photoshop and I make an 8x11 size canvas and make a row of frames small enough so that I don't get too focused on the intricate little details. Then I limit myself to only using four values on the grayscale. It usually is black, 50% gray, 75% gray, and white. Then I have one of my favorite anime open in a smaller window. Yes, I know, I'm using Gomplater, please don't kill me, fanboys. And whenever I see an interesting frame, I make a thumb study of it. Really, you should pause whenever the frame has changed, but in this example, I'm just pausing whenever I see something interesting, or whatever catches my eye. The goal of this is to draw with big blotches of value, and not focus on drawing every little detail. If I were doing this with a pencil, I would just quickly sketch out the scene using broad shapes whenever possible. You're more focused on placement rather than making pretty thumbnails. This is a great exercise for comic artists who want to draw panels of scenes very often. So, my challenge to you is the next time you watch a really, really good anime, study from it, and what I'm doing here, you can use values or you can just draw the thumbs using a pencil brush, but making sure you're focusing on broad shape. And honestly, I just can't get off of doing these kinds of exercises. It's like when I do this, it really just transports me into the mind of the characters instead of just passively watching them. So give this a try, and if you like it, make it a routine. I recommend doing at least 20 of these each time you finish an episode. The more you do them, the faster you will get at doing it.